What the hell? He's not even walking! How's it going, my wonderful audience? My name is Leo. Uh, welcome to West of Loathing. I'm so excited to play this. I saw that other people on YouTube were playing this, and I saw that, like, you know, I, I saw the name, and I was like, this looks really familiar. And I realized this is the same people that made the the Flash, I, I think it's Flash-based game. Um, it's a web browser game called Kingdom of Loathing. And uh, it was a super goofy game. It was super funny. Um, any of you guys who played it out there, I, I played it a while ago. Any of you guys who played it out there, let me know what your class was. I was an accordion thief. I, I thoroughly enjoyed thieving the accordions. Anyways, this is West of Loathing. We're just going to get started. Um, wanted for protagonism. Leonard, Felix, Leo Wales. Now, as much as I would usually put my my name, I would usually name myself Leo, I'm going to name my character the same as my character's name was in Kingdom of Loathing. Levi Botdoodle. Hell yeah. Alright, let's play. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Oh no! Cow puncher, bean slinger, or a snake oiler? Let's see here. Cow punchers solve their problems with their fists. Whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller, in a disrep disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You heard the cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't gonna punch themselves after all. Uh, on second thought, let me let me look at the other ones. Magic and cooking are inextricably intertwined in loathing, and the bean slinger is a mystical master of both. You've heard there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks being brutally killed by the cows. Holy shit, what have the cows been doing? And snake oilers. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. Okay. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everyone needs potions and hope in these dark days. And also out in the west is where the best snakes live. So, it seems to be either a... Uh, this is kind of like a, a brutal, like, warrior type of person. This is like magic, and this is more like a rogue. I always, I always enjoy rogue. I'm gonna be a snake oiler. Your room. Okay. Goodbye, desk. Comb hair. Wait, I don't have any. <laughs> you comb your hair one last time. What? Turn it off? No, I love the music. Hey, Russell! How you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw! I'll feed you a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Be good. Ooh, or maybe it's time for you to leave, too? I don't know, if I'm leaving... You know what? Be free, bird. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, <laughs> and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and then flies away into the west. Time to hit the trail. Okay. Russell's gone. You read the spine of one of your books. The Hero of Eagle Cabin. Weona Jones and the Incident at the Dark Cove. That was one of my favorites. Walt Jones and the Curse of the Eagle Bridge. I remember that one. The Hero of the Terrible Bridge. I Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Eagles and Bridges. I'm seeing Dan Swift and the Incident at Butcher's Barn. I'm wondering if all of these are like... Just randomized? Brett Bobsey and the Cursed Cellar. Dad gave me this one when I was a kid. Hey, this one might come in handy. You got an item, Walking Stupid. New? Hang on, wait. 
Pete Swift in the Incident at the Haunted Forest. Virginia Swift in the Haunted Basement. I'm I'm recognizing a trend here. Incident of Vulture Warehouse. Trouble at Terrible Gulch. Okay, I give up. What's uh What's new here? This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who is really bad at walking. Unlock stupid walking at Hell yeah! You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been added to your options menu. You gotta perk stupid walking. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops! Sorry! Alright. Um. What the hell? Oh no! <laughs> He's not even walking! Oh god! He's not even walking, this is crawling! Goodbye, bed. Time to head west and chase my real dreams. This weird poster appeared here one night. I'm gonna butt scoot my way out the door! <laughs> Wait, hang on! The walking is too much. The walking is too... New settings. Oh, stupid walking is stupid walking is is an option. Oh, I can shut it off. Colorblind mode. You never know. Wait, wait. This is a black and. You know what? We're gonna turn it on, cause I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I'm colorblind to black and white. I can't tell the difference. It's a real disease. It's it's a thing. All right. Uh, best font mode. Changes typeface of the game to Arial. Please don't do this. Oh, I don't like it. It's all small. I, I don't like it. Nerd mode. Describe, displays a log describing what happens in combat. Provides a few other pieces of metagame information in various places. Hell yeah. Ground level indicate... Okay. Automatically spend XP. Attempts to create a well-rounded character. I might replace that later, but for now... I'm the best walker in these here parts. What a mess. Stack the firewood. <laughs> I'm cartwheeling. This is this is never gonna get old. Like this is just You're gonna miss mom's cooking. Oh wait, I live here with my parents? Oh. Man, this guy's got some swagging walks. This hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Nothing on the hat rack today. You miss meals with the family. Little brother's room. It's covered with all his weird diagrams and charts. What? <laughs> what the hell? Butt scoots. We're back to butt scoots. Okay. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Over his mathematics de avariste Galois. Wait, is this my little brother? Did it say little brother? I'm skating, what? <laughs> oh my god. Uber de Anzal de Primus This is none of it makes a lick of sense because it's it's all foreign. On the application to dynamics of general mathematical method previously applied to optics. Lectionis Geometricae. This is about math, maybe? Look inside. Ah, he loves stuff like this. I got a puzzle cube. So tidy. I'm gonna worm my way out the door. Okay, how do I, uh, how do I get out of here? It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all of her pies safe. How do I... Oh, there's a door. There's a faded door right there. Okay. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna crab walk my way over to you. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. I'm gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. Present? Ah, it's that... That book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but what's Crimbo? What... What's Crimbo? The one about picking locks? Oh, boy. The one about desert survival? The one about bartering? Ooh. Picking locks and bartering are both kind of... 
Bartering's more snake oil. Person. That's the one! Enjoy it! You got an item. Mind your meat. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Goodbye. I just wanted one more hug before I leave. Okay. Hey, your father morosely jabs the haystack. The hat doesn't fit you, Dad! I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. What? Okay. Thank you. Good... Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. G goodbye, Dad. <laughs> it's a haystack. Dig through it. Hey, a needle! I got a needle. Your brother Rufus is standing looking nervous. He's really good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus. It's time for me to head west. Still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point. Why are you going west anyways? To help people, to seek my fortune, to get off this stupid farm. Um, I'm going to help people. I'm going to help people. You read the papers, Rufus. People out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous, 60% of people who go to the west get killed within a year. That statistics from before the cows came home. Oh, shit. Um, I might rethink this. Hang on a second. Wait, I might go, I'll be okay. Okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you stay so, I think you'll be dead by Crimbo. <laughs> when is Crimbo? <laughs> we'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. <laughs> you give him a playful punch on the arm. Best little brother ever. <laughs> Anything over here? No time to screw around in the woods. Let's head west. Let's crawl there. Head west, young man? Yes. Hitching a ride across the Great Plains. Director Zach Johnson. Am I in a... Thing of, thing of carrots? Cinematographer. Vic Victor Thompson. Film editor, Kevin Simmons. Hang on, wait. Film editor. Dialect, dialect coach, Riff Connor. Hang on. Dialect coach of what? Stunt coordinator, Wesley. Hang on a second. Some of these titles. Okay, those are care. Key grip, Chris Moyer. The boom operator. <laughs> I'm so confused. 200 miles later. Ugh, oh, I'm in a... I'm in a cart full of carrots, and... Oh! Ow. I fell out. Well, the bad news is you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. What about all that meat I earned before the game? Good news is that you're in, in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. Town of Boring Springs. A turnip! Oh, they're turnips, not carrots. Dusty turnip. Hey, watch it, buddy. Burp. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Can't... <laughs> I'm done. Oh, dang it. Yikes, I'm gonna roll into the cactus. Ouch. Ow, dang it. Ew, what? <laughs> it's poop. Yuck. Skate through the poop. <laughs> Some of these aren't even, like, actually walking. BS Horsery. A sign on the door reads, Gone Drinkin'. It's a chunk of wood from the broken hitching post. Take it. Okay. I got wood. 